I am delighted to join you here this afternoon for official opening of the Adventure Travel World Summit. We are proud that Namibia is the first African country to host this summit, which promotes Adventure Travel as a specialized segment in the tourism industry. We welcome all the delegates to this summit with open arms to this land, the land of wide open space and the breathtaking scenery. For us, the summit provides a unique platform to market Namibia's tourism potential to the rest of the world. The eyes of adventure travel enthusiasts are now focused on our country, the Sadek region, and indeed the African continent. It's my wish that win-win partnerships will create a linkage that will be established that will be established to the maximum, contribute to tourism, especially adventure tourism to economic growth and the improvement of the living conditions of our communities. I take this opportunity to thank and indeed commend all organizations and individuals who have contributed in one way or another the successful hosting of this event. Director of Ceremonies, Namibia is largely an arid and the same arid country. Our ecosystems are very beautiful, but fragile. It is for this reason that we put emphasis on environmental conservation and the protection of our ecosystems. Namibian constitution obliges us to protect our natural environment. We have therefore enacted several pieces of legislation and initiated the policies aimed at achieving these goals. One of the successful conservation initiatives introduced by our government is the establishment of conservancies in our rural areas. The initiative is aimed at promoting the sustainable use of our wild animals, while at the same time minimizing conflict between human beings and wild animals, especially in the rural settings. It also aims at ensuring that communities derive benefits from tourism activities that are conducted in the areas. Since its rollout in 1998, the program has brought about many positive benefits for the members of the conservancies 
in the form of improved income and the reduction of human animal conflicts. In addition, the number of conservancies has grown significantly. The international recognition that our conservancies program has received is a source of great encouragement. I take this opportunity to express our profound gratitude and appreciation for the 2013 Gift to the Earth Award, which was conferred upon me just a few minutes ago as President of Namibia by the world, by the world, the world life, by the world, the world found, the world Wild Life Fund, I'm sorry. I wish to say thank you, and I thank you very much, my dear brother, Chief Emeka Onyoko, and outstanding of the continent of Africa, and the former president of the World Wide Fund for Nature for presenting this award to me today on behalf of the people of Namibia. I accept the award on behalf of the people of Namibia, especially the frontline personnel who have made outstanding contributions to our conservation efforts through their hard work. I say to them, your work has not gone unnoticed. And we are all proud of you. Continue working harder to protect our natural environment. Fifteen years ago, the Gift to the Earth Award was conferred upon our founding president, His Excellency Dr. Sam Safishunan Nguyen. We are therefore pleased that Namibia has once again been recognized internationally for the success of our conserv conservation efforts. Director ceremonies, our government will continue to work together with the private sector to promote and foster sustainable tourism and a greater conservation successes. We will we will encourage a strong participation in the conservancy's tourism sector. I am happy to learn that the SAMT program provides for pre- and post-SAMT excursion to enable delegates to travel to different parts of our country. I invite you dear honorable visitors, to visit and enjoy hospitality of our people in different parts of this country. I call upon all delegates to work together in order to promote effective partnerships that will help to drive the tourism industry and the conservation forward, a health and a growing tourism industry is vital for economic growth, job creation, and a sustainable development. Once again, dear guests, 
I welcome you all to Namibia. It is now my pleasure to declare the 2013 Advanced World Travel Summit officially open. And I thank you.